Okay, this is questions and answers for World of Tanks. I'm going to go through some of the content comments on my existing videos, and I'm going to respond uh, to what people say. Uh, so one player says, why are you always in 25 times Zoom? Uh, first of all, the reason why it's in the game is because of me. It used to be only 16 times Zoom, and I had a game. I was on Siegfried Line, and I was like, this is horrible Zooming in. And I wrote a message to World of Tanks, and I said, you know, you got to do something about the Zoom. It's not good enough. And then the next release, they fixed it. Uh, they've added so many of my suggestions to the game. That's an example of one of them. But the reason why is because you have to watch the minimap while you're in the 25 time Zoom. Uh, when you, you got to have your eyes glued to that minimap to make sure you have an idea of what's going on around you. And as long as I'm watching the minimap, I know if someone's coming after me and I come out of the Zoom, that's the reason why. Uh, nice video. You deserve more subscribers. I agree with you 100%. And thank you for uh, posting like a bot that you are. Um, so someone is commenting about a win rate. This is actually a player who reached 250,000 battles on the RU server. He has a 46% win rate. And from studying this, what I discovered is win rates fall after 120,000 battles for most players. I looked at a lot of players. There's not that many, but there's enough. Once you get to 120,000 battles, your win rate will begin to fall. It will literally level off and then start to fall. And I'm going to tell you somebody who is at that point. Skill for LTU is at 120,000 battles. And I'm pretty sure if you look at his win rate, it has definitely peaked. But I'm not sure. But um, it's definitely something that I've seen. Uh, it's very easy to see when someone is padding WN8. I agree with you. Um, WN8 is one of the best ways to compare players. No, it's not, because it only compares damage. People exploit it uh, for so many reasons. It says over here, uh, you are upset at your own personal stats and are making excuses. No, I am upset about people attacking me because I'm not a stat padder. They look at your stats and say, you don't have a high WN8, so you suck. And look what it says. Uh, you don't use WNA to compare light tank gameplay. I'm a light tank player, but that's what people do. You know, people are doing it. WN8 has caused so many problems. WN8 is one of the absolute most toxic things in the game. Uh, does, does anyone else think this guy sounds like four tankers and a dog? I don't think that I do. I do listen to him. Uh, we do, okay, we do have this... Uh, a, the same um, logical uh, view of the game. I didn't know you had an RU account. I don't. He's referring. It was a post. The two hundred fifty thousand battles was a different player. Skill for LTU says this tank is out of the meta. This is the WZ one thirty two A. Um, what do I think? I just play for fun. I'm not into the specs. That's basically it. I play the game and I say, do I enjoy playing it? Uh, I don't care about penetration and all that. I'm more into mobility. It's mobility that I care about because if you have mobility, your penetration doesn't matter. You just get behind the enemy or to the side and that's it. And it's like I've said many times before, if I had to go brawl and use the high penetration guns like everybody else does, I just wouldn't play the game because it's too boring for me. I need to have an action-packed game. That's more than just point and click. I need to have some sort of tactic or strategy or extensive plan. Looks a little bit weird. This is about the new vehicle that's coming out with the Kronwagen Hall and the Centurion turret. Unfortunately, I don't know what vehicle it is, but I posted it. Uh, it came out. It was announced this week, March 23rd, 2020. Uh, where was your channel when we need it? Um, it was something about a scouting video. I was playing SPG and someone told me not to play it on Frontline, said I was a real coward. Uh, SPG is great for defending. It's the easiest way to get to general. Uh, you can get to general in a very short amount of time. However, for attacking, it's almost impossible. And I was ranking last place with SPG almost every game for damage, EXP, everything. Uh, if you watch my videos, you'll know that I have done 
a lot of damage. I have a game with 14,700 damage in front line. I've got 10,000 spotting. You know, I can get general and all that stuff. But with SPG, it's definitely difficult. Uh, what do we got here? The um, He didn't like ranked battles. You know what? I think ranked battles are more fun. But you really got to get into it. It took a long time for me to figure out how to win at ranked battles. My strategy for random battles doesn't work. Because in random battles, I assume the enemy is not a good player. But in ranked battles, you have to do the opposite. You have to assume that they are a good player. In ranked battles, they were very good. But because I was better, because I was just as good as they were, I predicted what they were going to do. And I came out with countermeasures, which allowed me to eventually advance uh, faster. Uh, I also leveled up uh, I first by playing light tanks, and then I switched to SPG. And, you know, I'm getting older now. I really don't care about the brawling, so I, I don't mind playing SPG. It's still a little bit challenging. Um, what do we got here? Swag bucks. I, I don't remember what swag bucks are, but it sounds familiar. Uh, he says too aggressive. And I try to be as aggressive as possible. Like I said earlier, I get bored too easily. So I have to be aggressive. I want action. And I don't care if I die. I don't care if people complain about my win rate. I want to have action. And you don't become a better player by sitting in the back and camping. Uh, I learned now we're at the point where everybody's aggressive. So <laughs> it's really difficult. Um, you don't look like on your profile. The image here of me is from 10 years ago. I do not have the goatee anymore or the beautiful hair or the handsome smile. Um, I'm your average player. It took me eight hours to get to level 15. Uh, he's talking about frontline. That's fine. Um, you're gonna If you're playing frontline in 2020, it's very easy to win the premium tank. So if you're worried about it, he said he did it in eight hours. And you got to do it, is it four seasons, and you win the tank? So it's it's uh, 32 hours of gameplay, which is going to be nine or ten days of gameplay. And you get the premium tank, and the premium tanks are pretty cool. Not going to buy the improved battle pass. I don't think a lot of people are, you know, I don't even pay for premium anymore. Uh, I don't pay for anything in the game anymore, because I've just, I've got almost every tier 10 tank. So I'm not in a hurry anymore to level anything up. Uh, so I have no reason for premium time. The only advantage is for things like crew EXP, but I'm on like six crew skills and credits. And, I, you know, I, a month ago I had 45 million credits. You do need credits when you get to tier 10 because it, each tank is 6 million silver each. So you got to wait for those 20% discounts. There was one this weekend. Save your silver you're going to need silver when you get to tier 10. That's a fact. Okay, so that's it for today's video.